We want to welcome back Tamsin Fadal, anchor from our News Nation affiliate in New York. So good to see you again. I think that a lot of people are looking for love, but they think, you know, I don't ever meet anybody. So what would you say? Where where do we go? You know, I never went to Home Depot, so I don't know, but that <laughs> trend cracks me up. I, I love hearing I you talk about that. It's so funny. You know what, though? I say it's really how to meet people. You have got to tell everyone. You can't just stick mm. to one way of meeting somebody. You've got to tell friends. You've got to go out solo or with friends. Don't get committed to one thing. Get out of your inner circle. So I say places like restaurants, running clubs, taking classes, volunteering. There's a club for everything nowadays. There's book clubs, there's wine clubs, there's there's everything you can think of. So go where your interests are because it's not gonna happen at home watching Netflix. I can promise you that. Home Depot might work. I just don't have any interest, you know, in, in, in shopping for lumber. But if you're interested in home repair, Home Depot could definitely work for you. Yeah, I mean, for some women, they're very crafty and they could get away with that. I would be there right. and try to fake it and be like, yes, I'm looking for a new toilet. I, I wouldn't even know what to say. Uh, but but if you do tell your inner circle and you tell everybody that, you know, hey, look, I'm, I'm interested in dating and, and being yeah. really assertive with that, so many people get asked, why are you single? Why are you still single? What's the right response? That I, that question, it, it still gives me shivers because I heard it at every single family event. Because I think what happens when we hear those words, why are you so, still single? We hear, what is wrong with you? Why exactly. In reality, most people aren't asking that. So I've learned, and after my divorce, I learned to simply say, thank you for asking me that. I'm out there and I'm ready to meet somebody. I am open. And I think if you own it and you simply just be confident and sit in that, sometimes people are asking because they have a person in mind for you. Other times they just want to know that you're okay. And it can really feel empowering just to say thank you. I mean, it's 2023. We're not defined by our relationship status. Yeah, yeah. How do you make sure you're not like just running away from being single. You know, you're not content with yourself, so you're trying to fill a void. Yeah, it's such a good question because if you're running away from being single, that means you're looking for a quick fix, right? That you wanna stop that feeling of being sad or being lonely, or you just wanna date for a holiday dinner. And to me, that's not the time to start dating. If you're running toward the right thing, which is what you wanna do, you know who you are outside of any relationship because you've really taken the time to take care of yourself first. And and that's where it is. When you're okay with yourself, that's really where I believe the magic happens. You know, a new person is not gonna fill every void in your life. They should only be adding to your life. And by the way, people can feel desperation. So if you're coming at it like that, eventually it's not gonna work. I, I'm being told that we don't have any more time, but I have to get at least one viewer question in and I'm picking Cindy, yes. who says, how do you break okay. the cycle of dating the same type of guy a player. Mm. Why is this a thing at 40 plus? Real fast. Listen to your friends. Listen to your loved ones. They know your blind spots. Get real about your patterns. If you're dating the same type of guy, the patterns are clear and say yes to people you would not consider. You might be surprised. Tamsin, always wonderful to see you. I look forward to our next chat. See you again soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.